In this video, let us see about JK flip-flop. Let us recall what is a flip-flop. Flip-flop is a memory element. It is used to store information. That is, you can store either 0 or 1. Flip-flop are the basic building blocks of any digital circuit. They are commonly used in synchronous sequential circuit which needs a clock pulse for its operation. There are different types of flip-flop, SR flip-flop, JK flip-flop, D and T flip-flop are there. So already we have seen about SR flip-flop in the previous video. You can refer to the link in the description. This SR flip-flop is the basic flip-flop. JK flip-flop is a modified version of JK flip-flop. So just to go through SR flip-flop before you come across this video JK flip-flop. So JK flip-flop is the widely used flip-flop and it is just a modified version of SR flip-flop. In SR flip-flop uh, S and R are the inputs and you will have four combinations. So out of the four combination, this 1, 1 is a forbidden state in SR flip-flop. It means that you cannot make S equal to R equal to 1 in SR flip-flop. But in JK flip-flop, you can give J equal to K equal to 1. JK flip-flop got its name from this person Jack Kilby. Who invented this flip-flop? It is the improved version of SR flip-flop. So JK flip also has two inputs J and K. It is almost same as SR flip-flop where J is equal to S and K equal to R. And you have two outputs Q and Q bar. Now we will see how this SR flip-flop is converted into JK flip-flop. So we know this is the circuit of SR flip-flop. Remember SR flip-flop can be constructed using NOR gate or NAND gate. So I have taken S, uh, NOR gate. You can also use NAND gate. Now in this circuit, we are going to make some modification to make it as a JK flip-flop. You see here this feedback. Okay. So this is the normal same RS flip-flop. Here I have taken the output and given back to the AND gate. So this becomes a 3 input AND gate. Here it is 2 input AND gate. Here it becomes a 3 input AND gate. Similarly, Q bar is also taken and given to this AND gate. Now, instead of S, I am writing it as J and instead of R, write it as K. So, this becomes the JK flip-flop. So, JK flip-flop with NOR gates is like this. With NAND gate, it will be like this. Now, let us write the truth table of JK flip-flop. So, J and K are two inputs which will have four different combinations. So, the first input combination is 0, 0. So, J equal to 0, K equal to 0. Okay. Then, the present output I am taking as 0 and going to find what will be the next output qn plus 1. So here I have taken the present output as 0. So this will be connected here. So here 0 and this 0 is will be going here. So this is AND gate. One of the input is 0 means output is going to be 0 in both the cases. See this NOR gate, 0, 0 will give you a high output. 
so nor gate 0 0 will give you a high output so it is 1 here 0 1 will give you 0 so here you will get 0 as the output when q n is equal to 1 that is when the present output is 1 1 will be connected here so 0 1 will give you 0 this 0 and 0 in a NOR gate will give you a high output so you are getting high output here you can see here this is 0 this is 0 1 means 1 it means that there is no change in the output when the input combination is 0 0 so there is no change in the output when the input combination is 0 0 next we will see the second case here I have taken j is equal to 0 and k equal to 1 so it is 0 and k is 1 and the condition we are taking is the present output is 0 so this 0 will be connected here so 0 0 will give you 1 output so this 0 1 will again give you 0 output so here you will get 0 next case we are making this present output as 1 and checking the result so now 1 is here so 0 1 will give you 0 here again 0 1 so it becomes 0 so now 0 0 is there so when k is equal to 1 this is equivalent to reset pin in SR flip flop so when k is 1 output will be always equal to 0 or the flip flop will be reset to 0 next case so that is the third case where j equal to 1 and k equal to 0 and we are taking this condition qn is equal to 0 so this is connected here so 1 0 will give you a 0 output here uh, already it is 0 so 0 0 will give you 1 so the output is 1 here next we will check if qn is equal to 1 so when qn is equal to 1 this part becomes 1 here so 0 1 will give you 0 as output 0 0 will give you 1 as output so here you will get 1 so in this condition you see whatever uh, is the previous value your next output is always 1 so we can say that when j is equal to 1 that is when the set pin is 1 the flip flop is set to 1 so the output is set to 1 then the final case which is completely different from the SR flip flop if you see the first three cases it is similar to SR flip flop the fourth case is different from SR flip flop so here uh, you have given J and K both is equal to 1 and we have taken this condition QN equal to 0 okay so here we have 0 so 0 1 will give you 0 here already one of the input is 0 for this AND gate so here also 0 0 0 will give you 1 so the output is 1 here next we will make this uh, present output as 1 and check the next output so if 1 is connected here what happens if 1 is here that is uh, for this NAR gate you see if any one of the input is 1 the output will be 0 so here I will get 0 this 0 is connected here here it is 1 so 1 0 will give you 0 so the output is 0 here 
So we can see that if it is 0 in the previous case, next case it is becoming 1. If it is 1 here, it becomes 0. So when j and k are equal to 1, toggling occurs. That is 0 becomes 1, 1 becomes 0. So it is like toggling. So this is the major difference between the SR flip-flop and the JK flip-flop. So to design using a JK flip-flop, we need to know about the characteristic equation excitation table apart from the truth table which we have derived. Okay. So to design any counter or register using JK flip-flop, these two things are required. So you can easily derive this from the truth table. So let us recall what we have seen in the truth table when j and k are 0 0 there will be no change in the output when j is 0 and k is 1 flip-flop will be reset and when j is 1 and k is 0 it will be set and when both the inputs are 1 toggling occurs If you have any doubts, you can uh, mail to this email id readelectricvehicle at gmail.com and to have better understanding of JK flip-flop, please refer to this SR flip-flop video. It is, the link is given in the description. You can also refer to the topics in electrical engineering. Characteristic equation means we are representing the next state of the flip-flop that is Qn plus 1 in terms of the present state Qn and as well as the inputs J and K. So we can use uh, K map to get the relation between the next state and the inputs. So three variables are there. Qn is one of the input. It can be 0 or 1 and j and k are the inputs which can take any of the four values 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so now we from the uh, this table we can fill up the table so k map is drawn for q n plus 1 that is the next state output so initially if j and k both are 0 0 0 condition what happens the output remains Qn that is no change in the output. Whatever Qn value is there it will be coming here. So if it, Qn is 0 here you will get 0. If Qn is 1 you will get 1 here. For next input combination 0 1 the output is 0. Whatever be the value of Qn the output is going to be 0 if k value is 1. So 0 0 here. For next case 1 0 this one the output is going to be 1 so it is 1 1 and for the final state 1 1 you see here it is q n bar that is uh, it will toggle if q n is 0 what is q n bar it will be 1 so 1 will come here and for uh, q n equal to 1 it should be 0 here. So, 0 here. Now, we will simplify and find the relation. So, here 1 1 is there. We can club these two ones together and similarly 1 and 1 is here. We can combine these two 1. So, if you find the common term here q n plus 1 equal to for this q n bar into what is the common term in these two j. So, q n bar j plus for this to qn is common and here and this fourth one 0 that is k equal to 0 that is k bar is common. So we can write like this. If you don't know how to write this one please refer to the three variable k map. I have given the link in the description. Next we will derive the excitation table. Excitation table will be helpful to convert one flip-flop to another flip-flop. So here um, 
we are specifying what is the output we want that is qn and qn plus 1 is the output we want for to get this particular combination what should be the input combination that is what we are going to find in excitation table so this is the lookup uh, truth table we have already derived now excitation table so qn and qn plus 1 are the output which we want so this can be of any four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 okay to get 0 0 as output what should be the input that is what we are going to find so now you he see here 0 0 see you see here qn and qn plus 0 0 is where here and here also we have 0 0 so you take this row what is the j value 0 here 0 here so j should be 0 and take k it is 0 here and it is 1 here so k can be 0 or 1 so I am putting x so if j is equal to 0 k can be any value the output will be 0 and 0 next to get 0 1 in the output where is 0 1 here here and here we have 0 1 to get this combination input should be j is 1 in both the cases so write 1 here and k can be either 0 or 1 so when j is 1 output will be 0 1 that is present state and previous uh, sorry next state will be 0 1 in case j is equal to 1 third condition here we have 1 0 so to this 1 0 here 1 0 is there so two combinations are there now you see j value it is 0 here and it is 1 here so put a x here in j see the k value 1 and 1 in both the cases it is 1 so k should be 1 to get this combination next 1 1 condition 1 1 is uh, here and here so what is the j value here 0 1 so I will put a x for j and k is 0 0 so k is 0 so, this is how you should get the excitation table from the derived truth table if you see the applications of jk flip flop it is used in um, counters registers memory units and frequency division purpose it can be used now let us recall the jk flip flop it is named after jack kilby it has two inputs j and k and two uh, outputs q and q bar which are complementary to each other and this is the truth table of jk flip flop that is uh, similar to the sr flip flop except the 1 1 state so here when both the inputs are 0 there will be no change in the output when k is equal to 1 the flip flop will reset so output will be 0 when j is equal to 1 the flip flop will be set and when both j and k are equal to 1 the flip flop output will toggle so from this truth table we can derive the um, relation between the next output and the present inputs and you can also derive the excitation table from this truth table if you like the video do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel and if you need any study material or you have doubt you can mail to read electric vehicle at gmail.com thank you